What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video showcasing how you can play Google Stadia on Nvidia Shield TV using the Google Stadia controller. Now this is pretty simple. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get right into this. So to get started, the first thing you're going to need to do is open the Google Play Store. So under apps, just scroll all the way to the right or wherever you might have your Google Play hit Google Play Store and then you want to search for an app called Downloader. So start typing it in. You see it show up right there. So it's the first app right here. So called Downloader by Troy Point. So once you do that, it's going to say install here where it says open for me. So make sure you install. I'm just going to open it. So this is the first app that you're going to need. So once you do that, you're going to get the screen right here. The next thing you want to do is go to browser. So the next thing you want to do is type APK pure. I already did that, but it's right here. So once you do that, you're going to get the screen It's going to take you there. So next thing you want to do is type APK download right here. And this should let you download it to the Nvidia Shield TV. So as you can see here, it is downloading the file and it's that simple. So you're going to need this in order to download the Google Chrome browser. And that's what you are going to need. So right here, APK install. So we're going to install this right now. And it's going to install on the video shield. So this is a way again to be able to download applications APK without needing a USB stick. So after you download APK Pure, an app that I think would be really good for you guys to have to be able to access APK Pure, it's an app called Sideload Launcher. You can also find this in the Google Play Store. So once you do it, once you uh, install Sideload Launcher, you should be able to see every app that you've downloaded. So Here's APK Pure, so we're going to open it, and you're going to get a screen like this. So now, with this open, we can come here, and we can search for applications, right? We can search Google Chrome, as you guys can see, uh, my history of searches, and again, an xCloud video is coming soon. So here we go. You see Google Chrome Fast and Secure. You can download any one of these. So I have Google Chrome downloaded. But you can download the beta and it all works fine too. So I'm going to open Google Chrome. And so as you guys have seen right here, this is Google Chrome. So I'm going to go to stadia.google.com from here. So I just want to say another thing. You guys have to make sure that you're in desktop mode on here. So you go to settings. There's three arrows here. Make sure you do this unless it's not going to work. So go to desktop. And boom, you should be able to go right into your Google Stadia account. So here's my Stadia. So you can see these are all my games. Now, in order to use the Google uh, Google Stadia controller, you just have to do this. It's pretty simple. So you see this Stadia controller here? You open it. And then now it's going to give you a code on your Stadia controller. So now once you do that, all you have to do is enter the code that you see in here. So this is my Google Stadia controller. I'm going to hit the middle button. It's going to vibrate. And I'm going to enter this code A up, A down. And you're going to see it connect. It's white, so I don't know if you'll see that. But it should connect because I entered that code. So there you go. Blink twice. Sometimes it might. Okay, connected. All right, so I'm good to go. The Stadia controller is connected. So now all I have to do is just, I, you can see I can use the controller right now to navigate up, down, up, down. So all I have to do is just pick a game with A and I'm good to go. And as you can see, I'm using my Stadia controller to play this right now. So to get full screen, I highly recommend that you guys download the Nvidia Shield companion app is free just go to the google play store and you should be good to go to get the screen to go away i'm on my companion app right now using the trackpad i'm gonna double tap so you guys can see that and then zooms in and now to get this other screen to go away all you have to do is tap the middle button and you're good to go so once you do that boom you're right in so again just press a to load right into the game and you should be able to play your games on Google Stadia on your video show TV. It's pretty simple. So here we are. So you see me use my Google Stadia controller to navigate this. So I'm going to hit continue to continue from where I left off. 
And so, this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now running on the Nvidia Shield TV using my Google Stadia controller. You there, Mistios. I have something you may As be As you can see, in. everything works. If I hit the home button, it gives me my friends list. I can see all my friends. I can mess with the audio. I can mess with the controller setting and all that stuff. So that's how you get the Google Stadia controller to work on your Nvidia Shield TV ah! when you're trying to play Google Stadia games. Alright fellas, if you find this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out.